Hello my dear students. Welcome back to my channel Biology with Jinook. In my previous video, I have told you that the most condensed structure that is formed in the process of DNA packaging is chromosome. How chromosome is formed? Let's discuss. The condensation of DNA or packaging of DNA starts when a single double-stranded DNA is wrapped around specific proteins and the entire structure that is formed is called bids on a string structure of chromatin. These specific proteins are the histone proteins. Here, total 8 histone proteins, 2 copies of H of H2A, H2B, H3 and H4 together form histone octamer around which a 147 base pair segment of DNA is owned about 1.65 times, a little less than the complete two turns of DNA and form a single bit and this bit is called nucleosome that is 11 nanometer in diameter. So, nucleosomes are the basic repeating units of chromatin and the bits or the nucleosomes are connected by linker DNA that appears as the string of the bits on a string structure of chromatin. Further condensation of chromatin starts after the formation of these bits on a string structure of chromatin. What happens is the bits on a string structure of chromatin in turn coils into a 30 nanometer diameter fiber that packs the bits or the nucleosomes very tightly. This 30 nanometer diameter fiber is called solenoid structure of chromatin. This next level of chromatin condensation is brought about by histone H1 proteins and these H1 histone proteins help to stabilize this structure. This solenoid structure of chromatin is still not sufficient to fit appropriately inside the microscopic cell nucleus. The chromatin needs to be in much more condensed form. Chromatin condensation beyond 30 nanometer chromatin fiber is not clearly understood, is less understood. It is commonly believed that further condensation of this 30 nanometer diameter fiber or further condensation of this solenoid structure leads to the formation of much more condensed chromatin fiber and that is 300 nanometer in diameter. This structure forms a series of loops that can vary in length. Now, the condensation of this 30 nanometer chromatin leads to the formation of chromatid. It is the part of the chromosome and the diameter is 700 nanometer in diameter. Each chromatid consists of DNA and proteins. After DNA replication, a duplicate copy or an identical copy of chromatid is formed and then these two identical chromatids are joined together with the help of centromere and form chromosome. So basically the chromosome is made up of two chromatids and the diameter of this is 700 nanometer plus 700 nanometer is equal to 1400 nanometer. The chromosome is 10,000 fold shorter than a stretched DNA and this chromosome is the perfect condensed form that can easily fit properly inside the very very small cell nucleus. Now one thing you have to remember that the histone proteins are needed during the formation of bids on a string form of chromatin and during the formation of 
solenoid structure of chromatin. After that, some non-histone chromosomal proteins are needed to form much more condensed structure. Some non-histone proteins known as scaffold proteins like the larger DNA topoisomerase 2 and the smaller matrix proteins and these proteins help in the formation of chromatic. Another proteins, SMC proteins or structural maintenance of chromosome proteins are the core components of condensins and cohesins. Cohesins play an important role in linking the sister chromatids together soon after the replication and condensins help the chromosome to remain in its highly condensed form. That's all for today students. Thank you so much for watching my video.